This is how you can make a spam detect system for your discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you're interested in getting the source code from this video or any other video on my channel, you can go ahead and join a super god tier subscription on YouTube, or you can go ahead and get a god tier subscription on Discord. You can also get any of these three bot packages. They are fully coded Discord bots based on a specific topic. All of this will be in the description below if you're interested, and with that, let's go ahead and get into the code. Alright, so we're going to start off by going over two schemas. We're going to go ahead and create two schemas the first one is going to be spam detect main with a guild string a user string a count number and a time number so just go ahead and pause the video and copy all that down and we're going to go ahead and create spam detect setup and this is going to be guild string and channel string so now that you have both of those schemas let's go ahead and go over to moderation and we're going to go ahead and create spam detect not js in here we're going to start off by getting our slash command builder we can get our embed builder and we can also get our channel type and then we're going to do equals require we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package then we can do const main equals require, and we can go ahead and do dot dot slash dot dot slash. We can get schemas, and we can go ahead and get our spam detect main. Following that, we can do module dot exports, and we can go ahead and open this up here. In here, we're going to go ahead and get mod to true. And that's going to be a moderator command. The video to set that up will be in the description below, or you could run a permissions check. Then we're going to go ahead and do data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and start off by setting a name, which is going to be a spam detect. And then we can go ahead and add a description. So set description and we can go ahead and say spam detect that's not really going to show up now we're going to go ahead and create two sub commands and this is going to be managing the system so we're going to set enable with a description of enable the spam detect system we're going to have a channel option with the name channel the description the log channel for the spam catches and we're going to go ahead and add channel types which is guild text finally we're going to go ahead and do disable sub command with the description of disable the spam detect system then we're going to go ahead and do async executes and we can go ahead and get our interaction and then we're going to go ahead and open this up start we're going to go ahead and get our options from our interaction value and we're also going to do const sub equals options that get sub commands we're going to get that sub command let's do var data equals await main dot find one and that's going to be our guild which can be our interaction dot guild id so we're getting all of that information that we're going to need all right so now let's go ahead and write out our async function send message with our parameter as message we write this out in every video we're going to do const embed equals new embed builder this is going to be set color to blur pool and we can go ahead and set our description to our message parameter then we can go ahead and do await interaction at reply and we're going to get our embeds and we can go ahead and get our embed variable we're also going to go ahead and set infernal to true now we can go ahead and switch into our sub command and we can go ahead and open that up we're going to get our case which is going to be enable and we can start off by saying if data we can go ahead and do await send message we can go ahead and get the caution emoji and we can say it looks like this system is already set up just like that then we can go ahead and say else and we're going to go ahead and do const channel equals options dot get channel and that's going to be our channel then we can go ahead and do if no channel we're going to go ahead and open this up and we can do await main.create. We can create our guild with our interaction and guild that ID. And actually, we're going to set uh, or false to that channel uh, variable right up here. So just make sure you go ahead and do that. Then we can go ahead and say else and we're going to go ahead and do main.create. And we're going to create our guild, which is going to be our interaction.guild.id. And we can get our channel, which is going to be our channel.id. So the reason we're doing that is because we might not have a channel. I did not set required to true. And if we don't have a channel, we need to create a schema uh, without it. So that's what we're doing there. Then we can go ahead and do a wait, send message. And I'm going to go ahead and get our globe emoji. And we can just go ahead and say the spam detect system is now enabled just like that so now we're going to break out of this so we can come down here we're going to go ahead and do break and we can get our case which is going to be disable we can go ahead and start off by saying if no data this time we're going to go ahead and wait send message we're going to go ahead and get that caution emoji and we can go ahead and say this system is not yet set up just like that then we're going to go ahead and say else and we're just going to go ahead and delete it. It's pretty simple. We can just do await main that deletes one and we're going to get our guild, which can be our interaction guild that ID. Following that, we can just do a wait, send message, and I'm going to go ahead and get our globe emoji. And all we have to say is I have disabled the spam detect system just like that. So now we're actually good with our commands here. All of our sub commands are set. 
So the setup system is enabled, so we should be good to go. So let's close out of this file. Let's close out of this and we can go over to events and we're gonna go ahead and create spam detect.js. This is going to be the event that actually handles all of this. So this is kind of the most important part. So let's go ahead and start. We're gonna do events and then we can do equals require. We're gonna go ahead and get discord.js. Now we have to get two schemas. So we're gonna get spam equals require and then we're gonna get our schema. This is gonna be spam detect main. And then we're gonna go ahead and do const setup equals require. And we're gonna go ahead and get our schemas. And this is going to be spam detect setup. So we're gonna get those two schemas just like that. Then we're gonna do var count equals zero. We need to set that. And we can do module.exports. And we're gonna go ahead and get our name, which can be events.message message create we're going to do async execute so we can go ahead and get our message and we're going to open this up we're going to say if and we can do message to author dot bots or we can do no message dot guild and actually now that i'm thinking about this maybe we just do no message dot guild so we can do no message dot guild and we're just going to go ahead and return and the reason for this is because maybe if a bot's spamming we actually want to time that bot out now chances are they have admin perms but we don't really need to return and do nothing because it's not going to be a problem if we catch a bot i guess then we're going to go ahead and do count plus plus so we're going to start by setting count to one and we can do var data equals and we can do await spam and we can do dot find one we can get our guild which is going to be our message dot guild dot id we get our user which is going to be our message dot author dot id so this is a different schema than the one that we were using before we can also do var data two equals await setup dot find one and we can get our guild which is going to be our message dot guild dot id so that is the schema we set up before so now we're going to say if no data two then we can just go in and return meaning if we have not set the system up then we're just going to go in and return we can say if data we can open this up we're going to do const query equals and we can get our guild which is going to be our message dot guild dot id get our user which is going to be our message dot author dot id then we can do const updates equals and we can get counts which is going to be counts and time which is going to be date dot now so now that we have that we can actually go ahead and apply these changes so let's go ahead and do await spam the update one and we can get our query and we can go ahead and do set and we're going to get our update just like that so that should be all good and set so we're essentially updating the schema every time a message is sent by the user with the updated message count and the time at which the message was sent so now we're going to go ahead and say else and we can do await spam.create which is going to be our guild which can be our message.guild.id our user which is going to be our message to author.id our counts which is going to be counts and our time which is going to be date.now just like that so we're going to be using all of them then we're going to come down here and we're going to say if and we can do no data we're just going to go ahead and return then we can do var executes and we can go ahead and do if and we can do date.now and then we can go ahead and say minus and we can go ahead and do data.time and then we can divide that by 1000 and then we can go ahead and say is less than or equal to five then we can say and and in here we're going to go ahead and say count is greater than or equal to five we're going to go ahead and open that up so with in this, this essentially means that we have five messages sent by the user in under five seconds. So in order for that to happen, that would have to be like one, two, three, four, five, which is spamming and we want to time them out for that. So that is our conditions. You can make this different if you want to, but those are the conditions we're going to be using here. Now we're going to do const and we're going to go ahead and get member equals. We can do await a message that guild that members to fetch. And we're going to go ahead and get our message dot author dot id. So we're going to go ahead and get that member. Then we can go ahead and do const messages equals await message dot channel dot messages dot fetch. We're going to go ahead and get all the messages within that spam and we're actually going to go ahead and delete it. So we can do var mem messages equals an array. Then we're going to go ahead and do await messages for each. And we can go ahead and do async m. We can open that up. We can do if m to author dot id is equal to member dot id and we can go ahead and say mem messages dot length and we can go ahead and say is less than five then we can do mem messages dot push and we're going to go ahead and get our m this time dot id so it's a little bit of a mouthful there but that is going to be the logical statement we're going to be using then we can go ahead and actually delete these messages so to do that we're going to go ahead and do wait m messages and we can go ahead and do dot for each we're going to do async value and we can open this up within this we're going to do const f message equals and we can go ahead and do await a message dot channel dot messages dot fetch 
we're going to get our value. Then we can go ahead and do a wait to f message that deletes. We're also going to go ahead and catch an error because sometimes it fails for some reason. And we just want to do everything in our power to make sure that the bot does not crash. Now, all we have to do is do var error and we can do a wait member dot timeout. And this time we're actually going to get 100,000. So this is 100,000 milliseconds, which ends up being about a minute and a half, a little bit over. You could change that number if you want. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not really playing around with a timeout. Then we're going to go ahead and catch our error. Error, and we can open this up we're gonna go ahead and set error to true if we have an error then we're gonna go ahead and come down here and we can go ahead and set count equal to zero and we can actually also go ahead and delete our schema so we can do a wait and we can do spam delete one and we're gonna get our guild which can be our message.guild.id and we can get our user which can be our message .id. so now that the member has been timed out and everything has been caught we want to go ahead and reset count and we want to go ahead and delete that spam schema so that we can have a blank slate when they come back from their timeout. So now we're going to go ahead and say if error, we can go ahead and return and we can say else executes equals true. All right, so now that we've done that, let's come outside of this and we can do if executes. We're going to go ahead and open this up. We can go ahead and start off by doing a wait message to author to send. And I'm just going to go ahead and get a caution emoji. And within this, we're going to say you have been flagged for spam. And we can bold that in message.guild.name. And we can say you are now timed out. We're also going to go ahead and catch an error just in case they have their DMs off. Then we're going to go ahead and do if data2.channel. Then we're going to open this up. We can do var channel equals await message.guild.channels.fetch. We're going to go ahead and do data2.channel. So that's going to be the channel ID. Then we can do await channel.send. And I'm going to go ahead and get a similar message from the send message above, but this time it's going to be a little bit different. So it's going to say, I have timed out message to author for spamming in message.channel. This means they have sent more than five messages within five seconds. Their timeout is one minute and 30 seconds, so take action if needed. This is going to be sent in the channel that you pre-set up in the setup system, in the setup command. Uh, this is a moderator-only channel, so that's just for reference, but that's all predetermined by the user in the setup process. So with that, we are actually done with this entire system so let's go ahead and save the files restart the bot and test this out all right so over in the discord server let's go ahead and test this out i'm going to go ahead and actually enable it using the commands let's go ahead and get the channel which is just going to be the video's channel it doesn't really matter so now it's enabled let's go ahead and test this out on a different account that does not have admin perms because if the account has admin perms then it won't be able to time them out it will still delete their messages as you can see here if i actually go ahead and spam it's going to delete their messages but i won't get a timeout or any warnings because there's nothing we can really do to admin all right, so over in the Discord server, all we have to do is send five spam messages in five seconds. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and time me out. It's going to go ahead and delete every single one of those. And I'm going to go ahead and get two DMs. Now, this is a bug that I did not change or fix. The reason this is happening is because you're sending the spam messages and it's catching you and timing you out. But one message or two messages might slip through. So let's say after five messages, it goes ahead and times you out, um, but the count variable gets set to six messages because the message that you sent before you got timed out was actually sent through. Then it's gonna register as you still spamming because the spam was continuously being sent from the time that was already saved in the schema. So that means it's gonna go ahead and essentially restart your timeout and send another DM. So if you'd like to patch that in your own bot, feel free. I'm just gonna leave it as is for the purpose of the video. So now as you can see, we're all timed out, so that has worked. Let's go back over to the main account and look at the error message we got within the actual Discord. All right, so over in the Discord server on the main account, as you can see, we still have two corresponding messages that said, I have been timed out for spamming in that channel. Um, and it gives all that information. Now, like I said before, it sends those two messages for the exact same reason as it sends the DMs. Those messages are linked. The same number of messages will be sent. So like I said, I have not patched that bug. I will not be patching that bug. It's probably pretty easy to fix. I just haven't put much time into it. So if you'd like to play around with that, feel free. That's kind of an open end for you to go ahead and change. But that is the system and that is how it works. So let's you make an advanced spam detect system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because this is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.